I've played Guild Wars 2 for over 20,000 hours, and I've learned a whole lot and collected just about everything in the game, so it's a perfect time to go around again. Join me in the adventures of my completely fresh account known only as the Microtransaction Enjoyer on the quest of obtaining and unlocking everything in the game, from legendary gear and mounts to living world story episodes, maps, and ultimate gem store quality of life, purely through efficient and somewhat sensible gameplay. No real money required. Welcome, friends, to the final journey of the legendaries of Frugal Fighter. Why is my account value thing just... I'm, I'm just getting rid of it. Oh, there it is. Nice. Okay, I, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so what are we doing here? It's simple. Aurora 2 and Vision 2. I guess I'll do Aurora first um, because, I mean, reasons, I suppose. It doesn't really matter, uh, but let's go ahead and get that done as quick as we can. We're going to have to make a little bit more gold. I think I sold some stuff. Did I sell some stuff? How much gold have we got in here? Ooh, 188 gold. Nice. I think that was the stabilizing matrices. Yeah, the stabilizing matrices sold. So that's really good. That's 188 gold there. In the bag, we can probably sell a few more too. I believe we only need 225. Yeah, and we have 500. So we can actually go ahead and sell another stack on top of this, which is pretty good. Uh, but anyway, let's get to these collections. And this is actually the final collections that we've got. I can't believe it. it's actually the end, guys. Every collection completed. No more collections. Only basically selling stuff and putting things in the Mystic Forge at that point. And I'll tell you what, I've got a little bit of a secret surprise as well. We've got a few tricks that I'm going to use to convert some of the other currencies, some of these really account-bound currencies, into a bit of extra gold as well. I think we need just a little bit to push us over. And we've got a level crafting too. I've got to get Artificer up. But don't worry, I'm already prepared for that. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and do these collections and then we'll worry about that thing next so i think if i recall correctly this is just go to basically a whole bunch of mastery points in Corteria. um so nothing super crazy there let's just go and do that i suppose uh where is this master can we just fly up we can probably just fly up can't we oh this looks like some kind of secret entrance are we going in here this looks somewhat promising Ah, yeah, here we go. The ooze. The ooze is there. And there we go. There is the mastery point. Quite a nice location. I think we just have to go up to it and press F, right? Yeah, there we are. Infuse it. And there you go. No channel or anything. We're done. I mean, <laughs> it is 21 of them. Thank you, game. Uh, you know, that's nice. That's very, very good. Um, these, you can actually craft them. I insta-bought them, though, because I am lazy. And honestly, the buy price and the sell price aren't that far apart. So I just insta-bought them. But you can craft them if you're into that sort of thing. Bloody Bill's Base in Blood Tide Coast. Uh, that is here. Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. So now we have Mount Maelstrom. That's right at the top of the volcano, isn't it? Yep, it is. Sparkfly Fen. Next. Malkor's Leap. Nice. Good. The bit. Oh, the really? The bitter cold? Are you serious with me, ain't it? Oh, is there a way we can cheese this? I really don't want to have to do this. Uh, I don't want to have to do the bitter cold again. Hey, Ryan, thanks for the tier one. I appreciate it. Yeah, I want to... Oh, no, this is annoying. Oh, it's all the way over there. There's no way I'm going to make it. There's no way. Okay, we'll just do the elixir. We're fine. Yeah. Unlucky. Ooh, yeah, maybe we could griffin ride in. That's actually a good idea. I like that. Let's see if we can, like, illegally get in there. Let's see if we can climb and make it. Okay. This seems to be somewhat promising. Okay. So, our goal is to get in here. Okay. Go. Oh no. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, I am so sorry, guys. First try. There it is. We actually did save time. That's way quicker than doing the hearts. Oh, what's that? 
survive 20 stacks of bitter cold, five achievement points locked in at the same time. And there it is! There we go. We did it. Well done, us. Last one. Lava Leap in Siren's Landing. Okay. Well, I'm presuming that's over here. Okay, there we are. Another one AP while we're at it. And there we go. Aurora Empowering is done. Now, all that remains, it's going to be Vision. Uh, so, we just have to go and talk to a bunch of Mastery Insights over here now. So, I think, I think you hear you just have to do slash kneel or something, isn't it? Is that what you got to do? Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, we got. Oh yeah, this is this one actually is a bit time gate. We have to wait for fifteen seconds, which is mildly inconvenient. An overwhelming sense of calm envelops you. Wow, I mean that's nice, isn't it? Okay, done. Let's go get this one. Okay, get the kneel in there. Five out of twenty. Where's the next one after this? Seven out of twenty. 14 out of 20. Let's make it happen. Here we go. Thanks for your help. And here it is. Here it is, gamers. The final step of the final trinket. It is done. Vision 2 Farsight is about to be completed. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. Frugal Fighter is legendary. There it is. Farsight Glimpse has now been obtained there we go that's that nice oh okay right now let's go try and make some money without getting griefed by my own community okay let's let's see if we can let's see if we can manage that <laughs> this might be a little this is actually a bit risky i don't think i can get griefed i'm pretty sure you guys can't grief me um, you, you'll be too slow, but we'll see. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is actually one of the same thing as one of the first things we did early on, uh, in this series, which we're going to be doing, um, some research notes and Imperial Favor. Imperial Favor and research are actually really, really good, um, for converting into gold, just for a bit of the final stretch. I think I actually might have a little bit, I might be a bit over I've got, I've got a lot of stuff I can sell, actually. And worst case scenario, I can actually just sell a lot of the End of Dragons legendary materials, uh, and then just farm them up again to make a Generation 3. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and do this. And this is what I kind of made earlier here. Uh, I thought that I'd do a slightly different way to get research notes this time, because I actually have crafting so i figured i might as well craft up some stuff and the way i figured out what was the way to do this again as usual i went on the internet and i went on fast farming and what you can see here is that it gives you a list of the cheapest ways to get uh research notes and i have armor smith so I thought, okay, we're going to make a bunch of these dire draconic helms, which at the time was cheaper. So what did I do? I uh, bought crafting materials. I made the helmet casings. I made the helmet linings. And I put buy orders for some dire intricate gossamer insignias. And these actually give you, I believe, 75 research notes a pop. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and do is see, look, and see, this is why I precast it. You guys can't mess up the prices, see? See? Ha ha! See what I did here, guys? They can't buy everything, so I can't afford it anymore. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and just instantly salvage these. These will just turn into research notes immediately. So here we go. Good. There's the precast. Yeah, I did precast. That was a precast. I didn't want to get memed. But as you can see, we're getting a whole bunch of research. And honestly, if I was going to make a legendary, I'd 100% do it this way. This is very time efficient. That auto salvage feature makes crafting research notes unbelievably efficient. And you can kind of see that reflected here, right? It was just incredibly quick. And we are now up to, I think I had a few notes. I think I had about 3k. Now we're up to 7,000 research notes. So we can go ahead and do a little bit of free money in this regard here. It should be uh, pretty good. And I actually have a few things in store here. Now, of course, I want to say this before I get in here. I'm going to be doing a lot of insta-selling here. Don't do this. Uh, you can go ahead and put sell orders. These things will sell. All of the items I'm about to be selling, some of these exotics and precursors, by the way, are actually uh, going... Yeah, we're going to make some EOD precursors to really make some money. Um, but... 
don't insta sell. I'm doing it because I'm on stream. To be clear, if I don't insta sell, my own community is going to troll me. Uh, and as a result, I'm going to be a little bit less efficient than you can be. So just bear that in mind. Uh, but anyway, let's get to it. Let's convert these research notes. So we're going to do the same thing as we always went back. Oh, it come, we come full circle, guys. We're going to go to the Jade Vault over here and convert some of these things into some exotics. And we're going to insta-sell all of them and it's going to be great. <laughs> here we go. It is time. Precursor farming is way better. Yeah, but I had to find the, the reason you might be saying, but hang on a minute, Teapot. What are you doing, dude? It's way better to convert all of your Imperial favor into precursors. Well, thing is, uh, I don't really have enough um, memories uh, of Aureen to do that. And I could play some buy orders and convert even more. But I think I'd actually eventually run out of spirit shards um, pretty quickly, actually. So I might as well do a little bit of this as well. We'll actually go ahead and do both. And we're in a rush. If I was going a little bit uh, slower, what I would do is I'd buy more memories of Aureen. Uh, memories of Aureen. Oh, Memory of Aureen. And then we could probably uh, make a little bit more money. I think even, actually, even insta-buying here would be pretty good, actually, wouldn't it? But anyway. Uh, might as well... Let's make this happen. Oh, then we should buy some of these bounties too. Should we buy some bounties, guys? This is actually so trash, but let's do it. Let's buy let's buy the bounties of Dragon's End. Look, we high roll the infusion, right? Oh. I didn't high roll the infusion. Unfortunate. Well, I mean that probably wasn't that was a pretty bad usage of that, but you know, we did it anyway. Okay, like <laughs> Can you imagine if I dropped the infusion? Actually like 10k gold item. Now, that would be epic. That would be some seriously uh, epic gaming right there. But it was not to be this time around. Right, so let's go ahead and do this. We'll do a little bit of this. What's inside the vault? What have we got? Uh, let's see. What's the best one to sell right now? So I'm just doing this. We can look over here on Imperial Favor, on Fast Foreign Conversions. We can see that we might want to be looking at the Berserker's Heavy Antique Gloves. We've actually got to move fast here, because uh, <laughs> otherwise I'm going to get memed. Let's see. Here we go. 145. Yeah, that'll 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 do. We can probably do a whole bunch of this. Now we have to do this quite quickly, otherwise uh everyone's gonna meme me. So I'll just quickly go ahead and buy uh this stuff. And we need to sell these really fast, because otherwise everyone's gonna start doing it as well. So here we go. Get rid of them! Come on, get out of here. And as you can see, if you place uh, a sell order, you can make quite a lot more. Like I said, I'm playing um Guild Wars 2 Economy uh, PvP Edition. So bear that in mind. That's why I'm uh, instantly selling these things. Because I I'm going to get griefed otherwise. And I, you know, I don't want to get griefed. Because what people will be doing as we speak is moving over here. And they will try to fill the orders as quick as possible and tank the price. <laughs> okay, good. We got those ones done. Let's see. What's the next one? All right. How about the medium antique shoes? Let's see. 127? That's terrible. That's absolute trash. It's nothing but trash, guys. Ah, uh, here we go. Medium gloves. That'll do. Let's get ourselves 15 of those as well. You can see here that we're converting this relatively quickly, right? This doesn't take very long to do. Oh, look at that. Juicy. Very tasty. Nice. Sometimes people place a lot of buy orders for these because they're trying to flip them. Because this is actually for a collection. So people actually buy these. That's why you can actually reliably get these. Um, or reliably sell these. Is because they're for a collection that actually gives you an ascended backpack. And obviously, a gym was... Dude, people are already onto it. Holy shit. You guys are fast. Are you guys seeing the orders just go away? Look, they're all go No! <laughs> you look, they're such trolls, guys. They're actually such trolls. They're tanking my profit. We've obliterated the price of these things. You're unbelievable. You're all genuinely unbelievable. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> See, the problem is now I have to go really quickly because there is someone standing right here waiting for me to do this so that the price can get obliterated. Uh, so, okay. I might have to just wrap. The guys, we're going to have to actually gamble a little bit. I think we have to YOLO. I'm just going to YOLO for this uh, and see if it works out. Because if I actually kind of check the price, it's going to be too slow. Yeah, we just have to go for it. Yeah, we're going for the heavy antique shoes. 
Because if I if I don't gamble, it's too slow, and someone will have already obliterated the price. I've got to try and get all of these sold. Come on. Come on, come on. But you can see here we should- No! No! Are you kidding me? I'm getting blocked by the TP! No! No! This is terrible! Okay, the price is holding though. It's holding. Oh, the trading post is so bad. Let me sell. That's a good price. 140. Look, I'll take that. No! You know, this is actually a really good moment to talk about how the trading post is actually very frustrating, actually, uh, to deal with. Really frustrating to deal with. And it's very important, um, especially as a new player, to get your account up and running to interact with the trading post. Ain't that need to fix this. The fact that this error exists is utterly unacceptable. Beyond unacceptable. The fact that this is the case is ridiculous. It is so annoying to deal with. Uh, and probably massively inhibits how new players are able to progress. Uh, because, yeah, it's complete trash. Utter garbage. They've got to fix this. They need to make this not happen. The game has won. Oh, the price is going up, though. Let's go! No! I want to sell to you! Yes! I got eight at that price. Very good. Very nice. Okay, I mean, I'm actually, I'm actually going to wait. I'm going to wait a little bit. I'll tell you what else we're going to do. Here's just a bit of free money. We did a bunch of those raid challenge modes, and we actually got chests of insignias. So I'm just going to sell these, because we don't really need insignias right now. Or, honestly, I might not ever need them, to be honest, at this point. So I might as well convert them to gold. Turns out the most expensive is actually Berserker. Well, there are technically a, f a few others that are more expensive, but this one is basically the one that's going to sell the fastest and actually has the highest buy price. So in other words, that's probably going to give us... Um, the best chance of selling it quickly, right? Because the demand for this is very high because Berserker stats are very good. So we're just going to pick these while we wait for the trading post to cool off. Wait for the hamster to catch up. But yeah, we're just going to pick Berserker on both of these. There's actually a really cool page on the wiki that tells you. If you look up this item, Chest of Insignia, the wiki actually says which one's the most expensive. Now that's value. Once again, the wiki coming in clutch. Yeah, I wish you could open all of these at the same time, but I guess you just can't do that. There we are. Berserker. And the same thing. Oh, at least this one's a bit easier. That one is right at the top. Hell yeah. Berserker's Oracle Calcium Immune Description. And because this item actually moves so fast, I think I can actually place sell orders for this. Although, those are famous last words, as of course, people can just undercut me, which uh, would be really funny. Okay. Let's go. All right, nice. So yeah, you can see here, this is five gold a pop. Uh, so I'll go ahead and list this for 518. Look at that, that's a free 57 gold. It's going to be over 100 gold uh, with both of these piles of things combined. So let's get that going. And we should be able to sell those. Because again, very useful item. It's definitely kind of needed uh, for a lot of crafting stuff and just making berserker gear. So... There we go. This is a little bit cheaper on the inscription, but still 43 gold plus, what, 57 on the other one? So yeah, about 100 gold just for free. We're making money. Nice. Which one should we go for now? I'm going to go... Let, I'm going to gamble on the light gloves. Here we go. I'll do 15 light gloves. Ooh. Oh, 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 there's that. Oh, Yes. There's 15 available. Let's go. Nice. That was a big payoff there, my friends. And now I can do 10 more. Let's do the shoes as well. I hope I don't need any more research notes. I don't think I do. We're fine. So I just put 15 everywhere. Ah, the, the light shoes were also good. Look at that. Nice. And again, like I said... You can go ahead and make a little bit more with some sell orders. Well, a fair bit more, actually, with sell orders. Uh, but I don't have that luxury, okay? This is the... Look, everyone always says streamer advantage, okay? But listen, this is the streamer disadvantage, right? Like, this is where it backfires horribly. But anyway, there we go. Little bit of extra gold. And now... Okay, now we're going to take it to the next level. We are going to make some precursors. Okay, so let's go. 
And again, just to speed this up a little bit so I minimize my chances of getting memed, okay? I have actually done a little bit of this off stream, but don't worry. We will walk our way uh, through it as well. Okay. Let's go to the VIP area. Seriously, that, my inventory getting messed up with that stupid Ormacan bandolier has griefed me to an insane degree. So, if we want to make a precursor, this is what it looks like. You need 100 memories of Aurene, and we actually have a whole bunch of those. So let's see how many we've got. I'm going to make, I think I'm going to make five precursors. Yeah, I'm going to make five precursors because that leaves me with over a hundred memories of Aurene, which I would need. For, actually, I could even sell these because I have a free precursor. Bear that in mind, guys, because I've done uh, the uh, Season of the Dragons. So actually, I don't need any memories of Aurene because you only need memories of Aurene for the precursor, I believe. You need a lot for the variants, but yeah, for the actual legendary variants, but you don't. So I might keep them, but we'll see. Anyway. So we need 100 memories of Aurene, a transcendent crystal, uh, and then we also need a fortified thing made out of the same materials. Unfortunately, because we did a lot of fractals in World vs. World, we actually basically have all the materials. So, and this is why this is going to be, this is going to be juicy. This is going to be free money. So check this out. If we just look up a precursor, check this out. Let's pick Dragon's Bite. Check this out, guys. Here we go. So, Dragon's Bite, if I use my own materials, look at this. It is going to cost me one gold to make. So, if I go ahead and, let's say we make five, look at that. I'm going to invest nine gold, okay? Uh, and I'm going to, in theory, profit about uh, 462 gold. Because we're going to be insta-selling because I'm going to get memed otherwise. So, we eat that. We eat that. That's fine. Um, but yeah, think about that, guys. And of course, this is because I've already got the materials. The way you want to think about this is I am multiplying the value, right? I'm taking some of these materials and I'm magnifying them. I'm combining them with Imperial Favor, right? And Spirit Shards, and that gives me more value. So what I'm really selling here is essentially account-bound currencies, just like the research notes in Imperial Favor. When you do this, and you can do this with EOD Legendaries, and I'll actually show that later on actually in Zero to Hero, but what you're really doing here is you're selling this, the Eldritch Scrolls and the Blessings of the Jade Empress, right, is what you're selling here. Right, so we are selling 5,000 Imperial Favor and 250 Spirit Shards to other players, which you can't do directly. You can't trade those in for gold immediately, but what you can do is you can craft things with them and then you can sell them to other players, right? That's what we're doing here. And this is actually one of the very common techniques that very wealthy players use. They will convert something that's account bound or maybe bound to time, like map completion, and turn it into gold by selling it to another player. And and as we'll see this later, actually, I, I feel like I'm teasing people, uh, but making Gen 3 legendaries is really good. And we'll see why later, because there's a lot of account-bound stuff that goes into them. Lots of account-bound currencies like Imperial Favor and Research Notes and stuff like that, and Spirit Shards, that really make you a lot of gold. Oh, I also forgot to buy my Blessings of the Jade Empress from the vault, but we'll go do that. But anyway... Uh, let's go ahead and pick up our Eldritch Scrolls. We're going to make five precursors, so we need five of these. And then we'll go back to the Jade Vault to buy our gifts. We need ten of them, which is going to be 5,000 favor. And I could do this more. And here's the thing. I actually better point this out. Um, if you don't have the materials, you can still make profit. And let me show you why. So let's go back here. If we say we're not using our own materials... Take a look at this. If you buy everything, right, we're still making uh, 200 to 300 gold profit, right? And that's because of the value differential. So even if you literally placed buy orders for your memories of Aurene, you placed buy orders for your Ectos, for your amalgamated gemstones, right, for our ascended craft materials to make this stuff, right, with these ingots, right, Deldrum steel ingots. So if you placed buy orders and then you craft this item and then you sold it, you're still making money. Again, that's because of that account bound value that's baked into these Eldritch Scrolls, Hydrocatalytic Reagents, uh, and of course, uh, our Blessings of the Jade Empress, right? All of that is baked in uh, to this. So even if you don't have the materials, you can still actually buy them and make money. This is how you make money from crafting. This is how you literally make money from crafting, 
right? Um, because a lot oftentimes when you make something, the value is kind of the sum of its parts ish, maybe a little bit more uh, in a few cases. But in cases like this, where you're funneling in account bound currencies, you make big profit. And there are lots of things like this, by the way. You can there's loads of different recipes you can do. This just happens to be the one that works with Imperial Favor. Uh, and just for a bit of perspective here, actually, if you actually look at this. Check this out on fast farming, guys. If you make these precursors, check this out. That's eight silver per imperial favor. Now, of course, you've got to kind of consider the spirit shards in there because they have some value on their own. But pretty nifty way of doing it, right? If you've got a couple of thousand imperial favor, you can make a bit of cash. Anyway, let's not get distracted. Uh, let's go ahead and buy these. We need ten. And yeah, that's 5k. That's a, that's a good conversion rate. We've nearly managed to spend all of it. We could obviously, we could actually make a few more. I could make another couple precursors. Hell, I could even buy a few of them, you know, sets of materials, right? But we're not going to do that for now. So, uh, hang on. So, oh yeah. Ah, yeah. So when we pick one of these, because we actually have a free recipe that we can pick. You can actually buy more of these recipes. It just costs you some Tales of Adventure. If you want to buy more recipes for precursors, you talk to Lavus in Arborstone and you have to trade in some Karma and 10 Tales of Adventure. It's about five gold, so not a really uh, big deal. Uh, but yeah, we'll go back and now we can actually do the crafting... The crafting is about to happen. I already bought the hydrocatalytic reagents. They're just research notes. We already saw a really good way to get those. So I think you can figure that on, you know. You just you just talk to a math you just have research notes, talk to a crafting vendor, and then you can buy your hydrocatalytic reagents. What's the best way to get Imperial Favor? So the backbone of my Imperial Favor grind on this account and a lot of my farm train was Dragon's End, Aetherblade, uh, uh and Aetherblade meta. Those two meta events. But you can do all of them. You can do Echovold and Kining as well, of course. That will also work. Right. Uh, again, I kind of have to YOLO this a little bit. Uh, we have to kind of meme this up a little bit. Hey, guys, I'm just going to kind of go for it uh, and see what happens. We're just going to pick one randomly pretty much and just make it. Let me see, actually. Let, let's, is there any one in particular we should go for? We're a bit limited by our crafting professions, of course. But let's see if there's any particular precursor that has a really high buy order. I think they're all around 120 gold. Some people, some of you guys are going to get lucky today, by the way. Some of you are going to be lucky gamers. Because I am going to insta-sell you some precursors. Right. I think the direction we're going to go is actually going to be, yeah, okay. I think we're going to go ahead and do the Warhorn. So let's do the Warhorn. There we are. We have the recipe. So we've got to make our Transcendent Crystal. Oh, no. Oh, I just messed up. I, I'm not 500 Craftsman. Be right back. Um... Hey, there you go. Grandmaster Huntsman. Let's go ahead and make the Transcendent Crystals. Here we go. Nice. There we go. And I'm going to see how completely wrecked we got in just a moment. Okay, so now we need to make our Warhorn um, other stuff. So Deldramore Steel Horn. Uh, we need some thermocatalytic reagent. These are easy to get. You just buy them uh, directly from the vendor. I'm going to buy... I think I need quite a lot of these. Yeah, we need two... We need... Uh, yeah, we need five of each. So we're going to need to do that. Here we go. And here we go. We've got our precursors. So a little bit of extra cost having to level our crafting up, but that's not too bad. Right. Here we go. Oh, they're actually still at the same price. Let's go. Yes. Okay, so we can actually sell three for 125 gold. Go, 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 go. There's two at 125. And then one more. And let's go. Yes. That's huge. No one got me. <laughs> I win. I win. You guys couldn't get me. I'm too good at this game. All right. There it is. Okay. Uh, we could do one more, actually. Do we want to do one more? Should we do one more? I'm feeling a little... Is that greedy? Is that too greedy? 
I'll buy 130 gold uh, for a Warhorn. If you place a buy order for 130, I'll make one just for you. That we're, I, Look, in the same way, guys, that this Hardstuck water bottle is from a print on demand, I will be your precursor on demand. I'll do it right now. And we'll actually see the profit, the profitometer, or the, that number, is negative 38 because of all the uh, Junlai ingots that I burned today on the Aurora collection. Uh, however, that should actually go into the green um, very shortly, actually. And again, I really want to reiterate here, bear in mind, guys, because I'm on stream and there is some potential interference here, and I'm also in a little bit of a rush, I'm actually s instantly selling here. So you're actually... I'm making about 15% less gold than you can. So you, as the viewer, you can actually do this better than me, right? Because you're not rushing and you're not doing it on stream. So I would highly recommend placing sell orders for this instead of instantly selling. Uh, I really do not recommend... Oh, we need some uh, jade here. I really do not recommend um, instantly uh, selling your items here. Because obviously this is a lot of gold. We're up to 1.2k gold now. Uh, and that's, you know, just from today. We've, we've essentially added all of this gold to our account by converting these spirit shards. There's another dragon's voice. Okay, let's see what we can do. There's 125. Where's Mr. 130? Listen, I'm going to, now I'm going to leverage the streamer. Right, you put a buy order for 130? Let's go. There's another 125 right there. Uh, so let's see what we can do here. Go again. Oh, let's see. Has he delivered? Ah, uh, I'm a man of my word. There it is. We've actually done some peer-to-peer -peer trading here in Guild Wars 2. There it is, guys. Welcome to Muddy Teapot, your precursor on demand service. Another 120 gold in the pocket. We're up to uh, 1.4k. I've actually overshot here a little bit. This is more than I need. Yeah. Wait, someone jumped it by one copper? Wait, no! Wait, no, it went to the wrong person? Oh, no, he got memed! Oh, no! It was MM! MM stole it! By one copper! Oh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, that's why, guys, you do your trading through Overflow Trading Company, and you don't throw it, do it through the TP, because that can happen. Yeah. <laughs> I have everything you need. <laughs> well, that's just unfortunate. Okay, let's go ahead and just get... I'm just going to dump these. Uh, we'll just dump this stuff. I don't really care about it. We don't need these. Although, I could actually use them for leveling crafting on another character, but who cares? Yeah. Well, if we do, okay, if we do need more gold, I'll craft another one, and uh, we can we can do that. All right, I'm actually going to sell these memories already. We're just going to go ahead and put these on a very oh, actually 24. I'll do these at 28. I see that I, I noticed that these two orders are way lower than this one, so we'll go ahead and sell at 28.35. That's another nine gold. But I think we actually have enough gold because bear in mind, guys, I'm I'm going to keep selling. We've got a lot more stuff to sell. So let's talk about this. I need, and in fact. This is why Guild Wars 2 efficiency, to be frank, it's just god mode. Um, uh, it, it's just god mode. And let me explain why. So what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go to Guild Wars 2 efficiency to the crafting calculator. And I'm just going to input in what I want to make. Right. Uh, so here we go. Aurora. And we want vision. And we want conflux. And we also want coalescence. We're inputting use our own materials because we want to kind of see what we need to buy and when this actually successfully loads ah there we are now it's in business so we need all of this stuff now what you'll notice here is that all of this all of these materials belong to the intermediate crafting materials section right um so this is what we've got this is what we need what that means is I don't need any of this. All of this can just be sold. And we can just get rid of it. Um, because none of this is going to be required to actually craft these legendaries. Because all of these materials, as you can see here, belong to this category of material. And the advanced. It's the intermediate and advanced categories that we need. So... 
be aware of that, right? Be aware of that situation. But yeah, there you go. That's how it works. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Time to get rid of some stuff. Uh, so, I will just take all of this stuff out of the bank, and we're going to throw it at the trading post. I think I'll, I'm, I'm actually going to be crafting all of this stuff. Um, I'm not in a huge rush, so I'll actually do sell orders for this stuff, because I actually don't need, I don't need this immediately, actually. Uh, because the actual grand crafting is going to be, it's going to be tomorrow, guys. We're not rushing. We're, you know, we're, you know, we're taking it nice and slow. We're taking it nice and chill. But we can get ourselves easily enough gold. We have a bit of a buffer. There's the profit, guys. 337 in the bank. Nice. We made some gold on that. Oh, yeah. So that number up there, guys, is the profit we made. In other words, that's the value of those spirit shards in imp Imperial Favor, right? Because we still had to funnel in Amalgamate Gemstones, Memories of Marine, right? We had a cost. We, we spent gold using our materials that we had um, to craft those things. And that's the profit that's now come through from all of the conversions that we've been doing. That will probably go up a little bit as well. I do believe the API, of course, of all days, the API is a bit slow today. But that's okay. Well, let's get all this stuff gone. And bear in mind, we're not going to sell this dust. And we're going to need an insane amount of um, tier 5 materials. We need like a disgusting amount of tier 5s. Like genuinely absurd amount. Can sell the platinum ore. Can sell this. Can sell the planks. Can sell the oracalcum. Good, good, good. If we just vendor these barbs, I can just vendor this stuff, right? It's just completely worthless. I could sell the cooking materials, but oh man. It's very itty bitty, isn't it? Like, I don't think this stuff is really that valuable. I, I might just, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie, guys. I might just leave those. I'll actually start the buying process now, I think. Uh, number one. What we're going to do now is we're going to buy all the gifts that you need for Aurora and Vision using the map currency. And we can spend everything else. We don't need this currency anymore, right? So we need these Gift of Bloodstone Magic, Gift of Dragon Magic. We need 250 of every Living World Season 3 currency, which we have. So let's grab those. And now, all of this stuff, all remaining currencies, are no longer useful to us in any way. It is worthless. We don't need it. Uh, and we can now do the same for Season 4 uh, with this. And I believe that's actually Mystic Forge. That's a Mystic Forge recipe. Okay, so it's going to be one of these kind of special things. We need one each. We need to make two gifts. And then it's going to be the following recipe. We need to go ahead and... Oh, I get. Wait, can we just combine all this stuff together, actually? Oh, we can. Oh, look, look. We can actually combine our Path of Fire gifts together while we're at it. Which is, this is the map completion gifts that we need. Uh, so we can just save some inventory space. So we put our Jackal Spirit, Spirit of the Raptor, Spirit of the Jackal, Spirit of the Skimmer, Spirit of the Springer. This is all from doing map completion and doing like the uh, the hearts, right? The mount hearts. And you need Elegy Mosaics to purchase those from the mount hearts. So whatever the mount is, do that heart, buy this. Do it while doing mount completion. There's Gift of the Rider. And I presume we can do the same thing with the map stuff. Yeah, we can. That's just... Do map completion, and then you can buy these. It's Gift of the Desert. Lovely. Okay. Uh, and then what's next? We need to do this. So you can see here that we combine those materials. And that gives us Gift of Ephemeral Magic. And now we can do the stuff here. And that gives us Gift of Crystalline Magic. Now... Everything else, I am almost certain, we can now just fully consume that. And you know what? Let's YOLO it. And that's going to give us a bit more volatile magic. And I think this is the point where I'm actually going to just do um, a bit of farming, just to kind of get the daily stuff done. I think I'll actually take a bit of a break from clicking on little boxes and just do a full set of strike missions and... Uh, full set of strike missions and fractals to just get a bit of extra gold. Uh, and that will also give us some more eternal eye shards, which we can then use to make some more crafting materials. So we'll actually play the game for a little bit now. We're actually going to go, wow, we're going to play the game. How crazy is that, right? Uh, so we'll go do that and see where we are then and keep processing more things. And of course, by then, some of our stuff will have sold. Uh, but actually, because I know we're not going to get that many materials, I will actually 
place a few buy orders while we're waiting. Um, so specifically, we're going to buy at least one stack of every tier 6. We need amalgamated gemstones. I need memories of battle. I'll buy 50 mystic coins because I know I need some. Piles of crystalline dust. You know what we can do? We can salvage our ectos, can't we? Ooh. Yeah, we can. Now, the reason why we need so much dust is because we need two gifts of energy. Gift of energy um, is an artificer recipe that requires 250 of a bunch of dust. That's why I need so many of these compared to others. I need another 963. But what we can do is we can actually salvage a stack of ectos. And that should give us a lot. And we get luck as well. So here we go. And that should give us over a stack of these. Yeah, you can see here that we're getting a lot of this stuff. And it's luck. This is a good way to get our magic find up, which I actually do value. So that's a bit of a fun thing there, is it? Look at all this dust. Crazy. Nice, nice, nice. All right. So that's actually over two stacks of dust and a whole bunch of luck at the same time. Don't mind if I do. Large bones. Yeah, even with all... Look, even with the ridiculous amount of tier five in my inventory, um, we still need more. 152. But actually, I fun fact actually, like from all the Voltar magic shipments I've been doing, I actually nearly have enough tier, tier 5. It's a miracle. Genuine miracle right there. So just to sh give you guys some context, we're here in the process. And it's basically telling me to uh, make a bunch of stuff. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what. Before we do that, let's go do our funerary incenses. Because this is actually the bane. I think a lot of people get, uh, like, go full despair mode. Because of funerary incenses. Uh, and, well, that's not going to be us, is it? So, how am I going to handle these? So, if I go on the wiki, and this is where the wiki is beautiful. This is how you can do it. Uh, funerary incenses. You might go, oh, time gate. Oh, 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 because you can only buy a couple of these a day from doing hearts. And a few for crystalline ingots. Or infinite amounts for an extortionate amount of trade contracts. Trust me, you don't want to do that. But this one here, take a look. One Amalgamated Gemstone, Ecto, Obsidian Shard, three Elegy Mosaics, infinite. Elegy Mosaics can be an annoying currency, but if you know how to get them, that's very, very easy. So basically, if you do the daily Path of Fire metas, you're going to slowly accumulate those because those give Elegy Mosaics. And just yesterday, I blasted about just over 300 Mosaics in about an hour, to be honest, with a legendary bounty train. I did all the bounties on all the Path of Fire maps and the Season 4 maps, because those have bounties as well, and it was actually really efficient. And those, by the way, are not time-gated. Um, those are... Um, though you can repeat the bounties. You can do an infinite train, basically, because by the time you're done, the first ones will have respawned. So actually, Elegy Mosaics, you don't have to be afraid of them. It ain't actually that bad. It's no problem. But you can passively work on it by doing your daily pinata, daily dogs, right? Uh, forge and fire. And Janundu if you like that sort of thing. Or doppelganger if you really like suffering. And you need 350 because I'm going to need a gift of arid mastery, which is for vision, I believe. And I need a gift of desert mastery, which is for coalescence. So we need a total. For this entire process, we need 1,350 um, elegy mosaics because you need 1050 to make the funerary incenses so 100 times 3 so 300 here uh, and then 750 here for the gift of desert mastery but you need a further 300 for gift of the rider which uh, you have to complete the hearts on and then you buy those for 75 elegy mosaics so you need a total of 1350 it's a bit of a grind but honestly even if you did it in one day it would be it would be like a couple of days of, of grinding bounties right but anyway uh, let's go ahead and do that uh, the way you purchase these is just in the tomb of primeval kings which is of course in the uh, desert highlands i'd like to see the primeval armory and here we go. Don't buy that stuff. You don't want that. Watch out for that, guys. And here we go. That is going to be 350 funerary incenses. There it is. Boom. Got it done. <laughs> Let's go back and we can make some of these gifts. So now what we can do is I think we can combine some of this stuff, can't we? Yeah, we can do this. So we can do Gift of the Rider. Gift of the Desert, Bloodstone Shards, and uh, oh, 250 
insights. This will give us a uh, gift of desert mastery. That's for coalescence. And then with the remaining 100, I should use the search bar, but I'm stubborn. I know. There we go. And another bloodstone shard. And the gift of crystalline and ephemeral magic. That's the season four currency stuff. This is for vision. And there we go. We now have the gift of arid mastery. We can do the gift of draconic mastery, which is these. Yeah, like this. This is for Aurora. So this is the season three currency gifts. Bloodstone magic, uh, gift of dragon magic. One crystalline ingot. So yeah, do a dragon sand to get one crystalline ore, I guess. And then a bloodstone shard. And that's going to give us the following. The gift of draconic mastery. So we now have all of the mastery gifts uh, set up. So basically, all we need is the money now. So if we we can actually kind of start lining this up, right? So if we go over here and we take all of these items out, you can see what's going on here. So uh, we have our precursor and we have our gift here. So let's start. Oh, I, maybe it would make more sense to line it up in the bank, actually. I think that would make a bit more sense. Let's do, let's do it in the bank because then it won't be in the inventory. So first component of a legendary precursor. Right, so there's the precursor. Then you have two associated gifts. So here for coalescence, it's the gift of complex emotions and the gift of patience. Okay, and then you need the money gift, the mystic tribute. We don't have that yet. We're work we're waiting for our buy orders to fill. Um, so there we are. Oh, actually, with with um this, we have to with coalescence. We're not quite done yet, actually, because we need the the legendary insights to make the the thing. We need to forge all of those things together. We need to forge these things into another thing, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, because all this, that is going to forge together with our legendary insight stuff to make another gift, which will then combine uh, with the Mystic Tribute. So yeah, this is not quite accurate, but it'll do. Uh, so second precursor, let's do Vision, I guess. We can get that going there. There's Vision, and that goes in with the gift of um, Arid Mastery and the Shattered Gift of Prescience, I believe, or something like that. Uh, and then finally, we've got Aurora, which is the Gift of Draconic Mastery, Spark of Sentience, uh, and then finally, there'll be a Mystic Tribute there as well. So our legendary setup is starting to actually form itself, I think. Uh, we need Gift of Sentience for uh, Aurora, which is going to be the Gift of Valor, getting forged in there with the with our Rune Stones and some other crap. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I, don't, I, I did this too soon. Okay, I'm noob, I admit it. Okay, um, I suck. Yeah, we need the gift of press. Okay, look, look, it's fine. Yeah, perfect. We now have all the gifts of glory that we need. Uh, can I make gift of the mists? Now, actually, seeing as I have all of that stuff. Yes, I can. Beautiful. That's really nice that we can actually get rid of some of these materials and make some more gifts. Again, just makes everything so much easier to keep track of. So gift of the mists is the following. It's gift of battle, a cube of stabilized dark energy, gift of war and gift of glory. Uh, pretty expensive one, actually, because memories of battle are pretty pricey. And Gift of Battle just takes a while to get because you have to do reward tracks. And, of course, you've got to get uh, Dark Energy, which means you've got to salvage your own Ascended Gear. Bit of an oofy right there. But there we go. We're going to go ahead and make three of these. The only one that doesn't need this. One, two, and three. Uh, what is going to be up next? I think it's going to be a world versus world party. So this kind of thing is actually, this one is surprisingly complicated. Actually, there's a lot of stuff you've got to buy for World vs. World. You can see here, Essence of Strategy, Mystic Essence of Strategy, Essence of Animosity. Right, so yeah, a lot of stuff goes into Conflux. So uh, let's get to it. I'm here for an item, sir. Goodness me. Uh, so we need to get ourselves an Essence of Strategy for a thousand badges of honor. Okay, we need to get ourselves uh, an Essence of Carnage for 500 Memories of Battle. Okay. Uh, we need to get ourselves an Essence of Annihilation for 350 tickets. And we need the Essence of Animosity. So we have to actually downgrade, well, de-expansion some of our things here, don't we? Hang on, let me... Uh... Good. Good. Okay, is there anything else we need to buy here? We need, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, we need a mist pearl. So we need this, and this is where that's where those tickets really come in. Ooh, look at those tickets, right? So we need a mist pearl. Let's grab that. 
We need a Mist Enhanced Mithril. We need a Glob of Condensed Spirit Energy. We do. Oh, we actually need a few more of these. We need a Certificate of Honor. Yeah, I told you this one. I told you the World vs. World one is complicated, guys, all right? So we need the Certificate of Honor. We actually need more heroics. We've got to go get back and get some more. We needed um, 750 here. So let's get another 250. And you can see the World vs. World paid off here. I've got plenty of these things. And by the way, I got oodles of these. I've got loads of skirmish chests, so I could actually get way more of these if I needed to. Yeah, I mean, we've got to, I mean, it's legendary for a reason, I guess. So we need the Certificate of Heroics. And that is a pretty, I think that's actually it. More or less. Yeah, we can actually go back. Oh, we can actually make Conflux right now. I won't do it because I want to do all four at once. Man, I feel like I'm basically done. This is crazy. What a journey. What an ep, what an epic. So now we can Mystic Forge some stuff. It's going to be the following. It needs to be the Certificate of Heroics, the Certificate of Honor, the Condensed Spirit Energy. Uh, oh, I need Memories of Battle. Those are in the bank. Okay, so that's going to be our Mystic Essence of Strategy. Forge. Good. Good. Okay, there we are. Claws with our dark energy. And then we forge all of these things together, and that gives us the gift of warfare. And now, with the gift of warfare, we take that, combine it with the, the mithril and the mist pearl, and an emblem of the conqueror, which you get for just doing a bunch of world versus world. Uh, there we go. And we've got ourselves a War Commendation, which has been downgraded. Look at that. We put a legendary gift in and it ended up exotic. I feel, honestly, I think I've been scammed. Now we can do Gift of the World, which is War Commendation. Gift of the Mists. Gift of War Dedication. And now we're getting through those rune stones. Where are my icy rune stones? Let's get that in there. Gift of the World. Coming right up. There it is. Uh, gift of Conquering we can do as well. Okay, there we go. Gift of Conquering. And there we go. I love it. I love it. Uh, funnily enough, I'm actually going to have to do a bit of a meme here. Uh, so let's clear some space to put all of our things here. There are our Mystic Coins for the Mystic Tribute. Let's just move this. Oh, that can go there. And we're going to put all of our Conflux stuff up there. So... Uh, we have our Gift of Conquering. We have Gift of the World, which is where? There it is. Um, and our Precursor. The Precursor is actually interesting here. Um, it's simply a Mist Band Infused, so actually very cheap. Uh, it's just like a, an Ascended item for the Conflux. And it's on one of my characters. Uh, let's go find what character it's on, I guess. Because I actually don't know what character it's on. It is on the NG, which I have now logged on to. Okay. And it is on the Power Alak Mech setup. So, I am actually going to be ringless uh, for a while. So I'm just going to just straight up remove the ring. Uh, of course, it, I'm turning it into a legendary, right? So it's totally irrelevant. I can uh, immediately um, just... You know, get an infinite ring. So there we go. Let's put the precursor first. Precursor first. And we'll put the mystic tree there. So Conflux is actually done. I could make Conflux right now if I wanted to. Because we can make a mystic tribute. Yeah, so we've still got a bit more work on the others. But we've actually done everything we need to do. All we have to do is wait for our materials to juice. We can see that we have a thousand mystic coins, which is all that we need. Um for our Mystic Tributes. I'm getting, I might need to buy a few more Mystic Coins tomorrow because I'm going to have to do some Clover Rolls. But bear in mind, it's Monday Reset. So I've got another free 25 Clovers coming in. So, and we only need 308. So we won't have to do that much Gamba. Bit of Gamba tomorrow. I'm sure everyone's going to enjoy that. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Make the Tribute now. Do you guys think I should, do you think I should do it? I should make the Mystic Tribute so I actually have Conflux fully finished? Okay, fine. I'll do it for the chat. I think... Oh, oh. We can make one tribute. So Conflux is fully completed. 
And there we are. 77 Mystic Clovers, 250 Mystic Coins, two Gifts of Condensed Magic, two Gifts of Condensed Might. Hit the button, and there you go. Fun fact, by the way, you can actually... Oh, can you not salvage these? Oh! I guess you can only do it with Gift of Fortune. But yeah, Gift of Fortune, you can actually salvage down into its components again. But I guess not with a Mystic Tribute. But anyway, gamers, that is it. One Legendary, totally finished. Not bad, yeah? That is totally done. Conflux, we could make it right now. And... By tomorrow, we'll be able to make all of them as well. We'll be able to mop up this entire thing. And we will have six legendaries on the Zero to Hero. Four legendaries grinded in one month, including... Oh, including all of the collections and all the World versus World. Oh, man. What a grind. That's what we do here, though, guys. That is what we do. But yeah, oh, we're nearly done with these legendaries. Is there anything else I actually need to do? I don't really think so. It's just waiting for buy orders to fill, isn't it, I think? Um, and I need to do a raid full clear, but that's, you know, that's not super crazy. That ain't super crazy, guys. We won't have any troubles with that. Yep, that's basically it, I think. I'm chilling. And this is nice, too. I actually have um, enough for a Gen 3. I've got basically all of my Gen 3 stuff left over as well, which is quite nice, isn't it? I don't mind that at all. Yeah. I've still got... I didn't have to sell my antique summoning stones. Oh, look at our account value, guys. The account value is up by 1,000 again today, I think. Oh, yes. We are really going up now, huh? Honestly, guys, I think that's going to about do it. I'm going to hop off, I think. I don't really have anything else that I wanted to do today. Uh, we got it all done. Very happy about it. We even got a free fractal clear in. We are going to make... The legendaries. 